please leave me alone. I'm asking that all of you guys, please leave me alone. I wish my husband had not died. I would not be dealing with any of this. Please leave me the f alone. Hey fam, welcome back to the Philip Scott Show. I'm Ungil Zalalem, bringing you the story. Today we're talking about Nini Leaks. You know, she just lost her husband, uh, rest in peace, Greg. Um, they were a couple for a long time. They divorced and got back together and we all witnessed it on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But now, you know, since his passing, she has been really, you know, she's grieving. And you can tell with the posts she makes, with the interviews she gives. And the recent thing that blew out of proportion is she was on a radio show and she was asked uh, how did you feel when all the real housewives came to support you help you and she's like i'm okay i'm happy um uh, but although i was surprised that they only you know contributed and got me a 200 dollars worth of um i think a bouquet so it was out that she mentioned that but she's grieving not only that she mentioned that cynthia didn't show up until a week afterwards during Greg's passing, mm -hmm. um, every housewife in the entire franchise, you know, reached out to me. Kim Zosiak definitely have texted me since Greg has passed and she has stayed in touch since then. So I would say that we are okay. I don't want to name drop, but I would expect her who, to. Who? I would expect Simply, her to. No. A lot of people expect that now. She didn't even come to the repast. Uh, she did come like a week later after everything was done. She came by my lounge. It's really hard to explain housewives. It's almost like a dysfunctional family. But they all reached out. They all sent flowers or something. Actually, I was surprised because the first set of flowers I got was a bouquet from like all the housewives. Like they went in together. I'm like, why do y'all need to go in together and buy some damn flowers? Like, you know, it's all of y'all work. You don't need to just, let's go in together and buy $200 worth of flowers. Like, you can spend your own $200. That's the way I've always... So after she gave that interview, blogs picked it up, obviously, and they were sharing it and people saw that along with her Real Housewives ex-co-stars. So... Mm, not a lot of them talked about it, but Claudia came for Nini. She said, nobody was there for you anyways. It was for Greg. And, you know, she said, I get Claudia too, because she's like, I w we were there. That's what you need to appreciate. Why are you counting um, the amount or seeing what we got you instead of you noticing that we were there? Um, it's no secret that her and I do not, we're not cool. We're not friends. We're nothing, you know, we're, we're nothing. But I, out of respect for Greg, I did send condolences and I never made it right. public. I didn't put it out there or post something or tell the world and whatever. But I did feel triggered when she posted, when she, when I heard about this story, I'm like, hold up. No one owes you anything. I wouldn't have to spend one dollar. It has, it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with your husband and paying respect to the man that we all got to know and love who was so supportive and kind. Even when you were beefing with his wife, he was still a class act. And Nene, I can't tell you how to grieve because again, I've never lost a husband. I've never lost a mate. I'm not married. I just have a boyfriend. But like, it's just, it's just such a tacky thing to, 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 to did you Google how much the flowers cost? Like, don't, the, the, the things that you said about other people, you're lucky that anyone even showed up for you, actually. And the fact that people rallied around you, I thought was a beautiful moment. So let's not ruin it. So after Claudia went, just she drilled, I would say, um, into Nini Leaks. Now, Cynthia uh, explained her side. She said she was not in the city and she was traveling for work. Hey, I wanted to know, what was your reaction to Nini's interview? Oh, man. Um, you know what? I was a little surprised, a little disappointed. Um, I... It meant a lot to me to, you know, connect with her out of respect for Greg. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I don't know what else to say or do other than, you know, I always try to just move in light and move in love. And I honestly had a great time with Nene. We had a great time. I mean, I stayed almost closed down the lounge with her. So You didn't uh, expect to wake surprised. up to this today, huh? No, no, I didn't. I did. So Cynthia clearly uh, missed the funeral because she had to be somewhere. But I understand why Nini got hurt because they were friends for a long time. But mm, they're no longer friends. At least I think Nini should have con 
put that into consideration but even with that being said i don't think cynthia did that on purpose she just had work and as soon as she went back she went to nini and they had a bonding session as she said so nini is grieving i think at this point people should just allow her to grieve and let her cope with the way she sees fit and other people should just leave her alone nini leaks can put you to your place on a good day so at this point in time i think people should just give her her space let her heal and then come for her i feel like that's what you should do because she's going through a loss and that's just horrible right so anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about nini leaks saying leave me the f alone i am wangil zalalem bringing you a story i'll see you on the next one bye